Hey everyone. So I am checking in to do my week 23 post-op video and uh, start my steps. I am 5'2". I am 29 years old. I had surgery March 24th, 2017 at Robert Wood Johnson in New Brunswick, New Jersey. My highest weight prior to surgery was 230.6 pounds. Um, my surgery weight was 222 pounds. My weight as of last week was 159.2. My weight as of Saturday, September the 2nd was 157. Um, so that is 2.2 pounds down from last week, 65 pounds down from my surgery weight, and 73.6 pounds down overall from my highest weight. So normally I start talking about things that I had, you know, dealt with through this week, but I'm going to do something a little different in this video. In this video, I am going to do kind of a question that question and answer with my significant other and pretty much ask him questions of how VSG may have affected him and things like that so that's what I'm going to do this video and also I'm going to add in my hair loss pictures because bruh yo the edges is going like for real for real like yeah I look like I'm a it's not even funny but I look like I'm like a chemo patient on like both sides it's not even cute it's it's crazy so i'm gonna have to do something about that i was told wild growth wild growth treatment works my boyfriend actually uses it so i'm gonna kind of steal that from him and you know massage it on these edges because i never wore a wig before and i'm not really trying to go that route so um yeah we're gonna see what that's about but anyway so now we're gonna get so many questions and answers he does not know any of the questions that i'm gonna ask him and to be honest with you i had a couple i didn't write them down so i might be a little random myself with the questions um but yeah so i thought i would try something different so that's what we're gonna do all right everybody so this is aj say hi to everybody up there youtuber all right how y'all doing <laughs> so this is my significant other all right that i always you know i pretty much kind of mention him kind of like a lot of videos my boyfriend is in that i feel hella short in this video i may have to get some books or something so, I don't know. but anyway so the first question is after my surgery did i change in any type of way as far as like the way I act towards you, the way I, anything like that? Mm, I don't believe so. I think you were the same. Just more worried about your weight a little bit. Other than that, I think you were alright. Okay, Maybe so a little attitude when I want to eat and you don't, but. True. That's true. That's definitely true. Because I don't be want to eat even like I'm hungry. Bruh. I'm not hungry. We just ate like two hours ago and I'm still stuffed. <laughs> but, yeah, that's probably true. <laughs> so, after my surgery, have you had to change, in, or not had to change, but have you changed something in your life or any habits that you had prior to me having surgery? Yes, of course. Like what? After he does not talk this proper normally, just like Shauna. <laughs> okay. <laughs> After the surgery, you can see I'm a big boy. Buffets is just not cutting it. You just came, no, no more buffets. Um, we used to visit the buffet at least like twice a week. <laughs> at least <laughs> but that other than that no I didn't really have to change too much I feel a little bad sometimes but bad about what? yeah when I'm eating and then you not stuff like that but I didn't really have to change too much okay. yeah I was definitely thinking about I knew the buffet thing was gonna probably be one of the answers cause we have not been to the buffet since I had surgery cause like you said it's kinda like worth I mean it's like not worth it I'll go there and eat like one thing and then just be sitting there the rest of the time like that's not but the buffet was our shit see my language that was not our. worth it to her but not worth me. it okay worth it to him i keep telling him i'm like y'all just go to the buffet like go ahead he's like what but you gonna sit here or you're not gonna go i mean it made no sense but we are gonna pay for us like maybe i can get a kid price with my little card or something we still haven't tried that yet i'm gonna we're gonna try that eventually soon soon come <laughs> um okay so after the surgery did you have I okay damn <laughs> so after surgery um have you seen me change my attitude as far as like how I look at myself mm. like body image wise and stuff like that in the beginning no but now I think you're a lot better with your weight even though I'm gonna love you regardless no matter what you know he gotta say that <laughs> no they say happy wife happy life <laughs> <laughs> but i mean as far as like so okay so to kind of go deeper into that question so i know when we first started dating 
I wasn't 230. I probably was like 215. And then we kept going to buffets. I'm just saying. And he was cooking when I was coming home late from the airport, 12 o'clock at night, cooking freaking big ass meals for me. It was all cooked for him. Like, damn. All right. Had to eat it. Felt bad if I didn't. And it was always good. Okay. So when I was in my 215, 217 to my 230 stage, was there things that I wouldn't do then? that I do now after surgery or after losing this weight or um yeah pretty much um I would say to trying out the clothes and experimenting with stuff and being more confident with yourself experiment in what okay. just like going to the medium and not be like oh um, look at this shirt stuff like that like you start going like oh yeah we out here let's go <laughs> <laughs> oh baby i got a medium on we lit mm -hmm. definitely did because you know <laughs> i'm starting about a little bit more of a medium clothes i'm like oh snap because i've never wore medium i told y'all before ever so yeah that'd be a shock sometimes all right so with me eating healthy or healthier because i'm not gonna say everything i eat is good because sometimes he be having fries and i'll be like sean still a couple and I don't try. I spill a couple of fries. I'm not even going to lie. I'm not perfect. And he be eating some good looking stuff. I'm just saying. But, um, so after the surgery, have you seen my eating habits change? Aside from obviously eating less, have you seen me like, you know, just changing yes. what I'm picking and stuff? All right. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> and how so? What, what are some of the changes that you notice? Salad. Mm -hmm. Just all the new stuff you're trying. The peppers. Yeah. But definitely the salad. The girl's crazy for salad. Greek salad though. Greek. Greek salad. Yes. Greek Not salad. even no chicken. I'll be looking like. Yeah, no chicken. Just the Greek salad. Yeah, let me try that. Oh, yeah, this is good. I see why. <laughs> I'm just too greedy for that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I need some meat in my life. What if I add chicken to the Greek salad? I'm going to eat all your chicken. True. <laughs> all of <True>. it. <laughs> So, um, I mean, I know you've met a couple of my friends. Um, I don't have too many friends that I chill with on a regular basis. But, um, so the friends that I have had, do you feel that I act differently to, honestly, do you feel like I act differently towards them after surgery? You know, I feel like you're still the same. Just a lot more confident with, you, with yourself and your body. I don't feel like you changed your personality or anything. Mm -hmm. I'm just seeing like you just step up and just be like, all right, it's working. Let's go. We out here. Like that confidence. I like it. All right. Okay. So I see a lot of videos where people are married or in relationships um, and their spouse has surgery, whether it be gastric sleeve, bypass, whatever it is, weight loss surgery, and they start to have issues within their marriage or relationships and they end up getting divorced or they split. Did you ever think that that was going to be something that was going to happen with us because I had the surgery? Mm, a little bit. Not a lot. Just a little bit. You know, stuff like that always going to cross your mind. People be uncomfortable with themselves and then they get a little more comfortable and then they start just going out there and trying new things. But with you, your our bond, our love for each other, it was a slight thought. Mm -hmm. Never really crossed my mind like oh she's gonna go out and cheat on me but no I never thought of it too much too much too much just it crossed your mind just a little bit yeah, just a little bit just a, just a tad bit just a little bit but like I said our bond and our love for each other is just unbelievable so it's you know sometimes you always think of the bad stuff but you just let it go by so no, I didn't think of it too much. Did you feel that, oh, since she's doing this, because I know, I'm not gonna get into detail, but I know someone actually said something to him about me having surgery um, and that, you know, they asked him like, oh, what are you gonna do or whatever, kind of mentioning or trying to hit the fact that I may be different or I might try to leave him afterwards or whatever case may be. So when the person said that to you, did you feel like you had to do something about change? Did you have to change yourself or do something about yourself? Or when you see, like when you saw me start to lose the weight, did you feel like you need to do something or change anything no. because of that comment? No. Okay. I think that's what made me think about it a little bit. But then in the back of my mind, I'm like, wait, 
I'm not even feeding into this. Like, I know our bond is too strong for this. For her to leave me because she losing weight just doesn't make sense. Like, and my whole thing was, I mean, we're not married, but thick and thin. Like, he's been there literally too sick, and I'm not thin, but smaller than I was. You know what I'm saying? So, that was my thing too. My my thought was always, first of all, it makes no sense for me to okay lose this weight because people a lot of people lose weight and they get attention and attention that they probably have never received before me i've always gotten attention i'm not trying to be like conceited or nothing but i've always got attention me too <laughs> what i was on it <laughs> <laughs> whatever he, <laughs> he just threw me over here. <laughs> but um you know i've always got attention you know what i'm saying so that wasn't something that i'm like oh you know if people try to talk to me or say something to me, I'm like, oh my gosh, like, oh, they trying to talk to me. It's not, it's something that's happened before. And I could be like, all right, that's cool. But you wasn't talking to me or trying to say nothing to me before. So why are you trying to say something to me now? Like, I'm good. I got somebody that was there before I got to what I'm looking like now. So why would I even try to pay you any attention? Like, I'm, I'm good. You could keep it moving. Kick rocks, all of that good stuff. But, um, yeah. So... Again, I know that's something that a lot of people do go through after surgery. I hear a lot of people that get divorced they, or separate or stuff like that because, again, people become more confident, which is, is going to naturally happen. You're going to be a little bit more confident than you were because now you're like, oh, I can wear this or I can do things that I weren't, wasn't able to do before. And, um, you know, they definitely kind of switch up their style. And people that are not comfortable with their relationship or with how the person is changing, it messes up the relationship. So... Okay, so this is going to be my last question question for you. Because I can't think anymore, y'all. I'm going to have to do another list or something. Um, it was supposed to be 10. I told her 10. He did tell me 10, but um, I should have wrote them down. 10 and I didn't want to know. So you can get my, what? my legit reaction. Right. Because, again, this is questions that I did not write down and questions that he didn't know that I was going to ask. So, um, kickboxing. <laughs> so, you know I signed up for kickboxing. Um... How do you feel about that? You want to know the truth? The <laughs> truth. I'm listening. I want to know the truth. That's what it's about. A little pricey, but I love the fact that you are willing to go out there and do something that you are happy with doing. If it makes you feel better as a person, you know I got your back no matter what. Mm -hmm. If you're going to go kickboxing at 5.30 in the morning. Which I will be doing tomorrow. 5.30. <laughs> cool with me. Cool even, though, even though my alarm wakes you up at 4 40. I'm cool with that too. Okay. As long alarm. as you happy. You come home like, oh yeah, I had a good time. She even went and got her boxing gloves done up. <laughs> yes, I'll show y'all. Um, it's in the car. So I'll probably take a picture or whatever and maybe add that to like the next video or something. Because I'm trying to upload this tonight. We shall see. I don't know. I might be a little tired. But, um, tonight, I'm keeping it wrapped on. We'll see. Anyway. So is there anything else that you just want to, you know, say? For anybody out there that had the surgery, listen, don't let your other your other half intervene with what you want. If they want to eat, let them eat. That's you gotta like control yourself. Just because I'm eating popcorn doesn't mean you have to eat it. <laughs> but at the same time, I feel like you should your other half should restrain yourselves. In certain ways, like you don't have to always put her in a position where she'll feel some type of way about, oh well, I'm going to Red Lobster and you're eating spaghetti, which she can't have, but you know what I'm saying. You're eating a salad, I'm eating shrimp and steak. Sometimes you shouldn't just do that, but you gotta control yourself and motivate yourself, like, and that's a good point too. She hit her goal. She hit her goal and was like, oh, I'm at my goal. Nah, ain't no goal. Set another one. Set an unbelievable one. Motivate yourself to take it somewhere different. Now. That's that's the kind of other you want. Not the one that's just saying, I'm going to Taco Bell. You want a taco? I know you can't have it, but you want one just because I'm going? Hey, babe, I stopped and get your salad. I'm going to Red Tower. Sorry. Yeah, I'm on Red Tower is. If you ain't from the area, you ain't gonna know it. It's a diner, pretty much, as you can get Steak. a bunch of fat food. Fat food. But they're <laughs> good, though. They're good. <laughs> <laughs> but just all in all, just keep on your goals. Stay strong. If it's working for you, it's working for you. It's definitely working for her. And 
as long as she happy, I'm happy. And if this is what she wants, I told her from the door, I'm always going to support you. So here I am, support to the strongest. I love you. Yeah, you too. Better. You better. Oh, don't forget, we're giving a giveaway. Tell them about the giveaway. Okay, yes. So, I am going to do a giveaway. I thought I was going to do it at 200 subscribers, but I think I'm going to do it at 150. Um, Just because I'm at like 120 something right now, and I do appreciate all the new subscribers. Thank you guys for subscribing. Um, I'm going to probably do more detail. Actually, I'm not going. I'm going to do the details of it. Um, Probably with the next video. But I'm probably going to have something where you have to subscribe to here, subscribe to also to Instagram, make a comment or something like that just to get the entry into it. And it's going to be a $25 gift card to AMC Theaters. Some people don't have an AMC Theater around them, so the backup would also be, um, it's going to be a blender bottle with possibly um, some a protein powder, unflavored or stuff like that. But I will definitely talk with the winner and I'm going to actually kind of talk that out because I may do just another gift card, like an Amazon gift card instead of the, the protein like powder and stuff so um, I know we're still trying to think it we're still trying to figure it out um, but it, again it's probably going to be one of the two and you'll have definitely a selection of both and again I'm definitely going to do it at 150 so that's why we still got to keep going over some ideas um, I was trying to do an electronic gift card because I felt that would be easier because I could send it to your email address but I actually have a physical AMC gift card here um, so that I would have to mail it to your address. So, again, that will kind of be worked out more with the next video. Um, but definitely doing a giveaway at 150. So when we get to 150, then I will give you more details on how to get an entry into it. And I'm going to do it the old-fashioned way of writing your name down, putting it inside of a bucket, you know, and pulling it out. And whoever names come out, that's who gets the, the gift. So thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. As always, thank you.